and I put my tinsel ties on it, all right? And you can take your ties and you can do it yourself. And it's, you can use your Chanel, your tinsel ties. And the way I placed mine is I'm using the Dollar Tree Gold frame right here. And I went, maybe this is right here. I'm dehydrated. Ugh. Don't you hate when you're dehydrated? Ugh. I feel icky. All right, so here we go. We got right here. So you're going to go all the way around on your crossbar. Then you're going to go on to two on your center bar. Then you're going to go on to three. See how I did that? Okay. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, so one and two. Hello, Carmen. What you doing? <laughs> Carmen. Okay, so I got one, two. What in the world? Okay, I see what I did. Right here, right here. Yeah, I see, I see, I see. Okay. Crossbar, center bar. Crossbar. Center bar. All right. I'm gonna go all the way around. So basically, Crossbar, crossbar, we go. All right, so you're going to have all four bars by the time you go all the way around. All right. So you can take your Chanel stems and you're going to place it as if you bought this already placed on there for you. All right. So I have... One, two, see, crossbar, center of your section, crossbar, center, all right, all the way around. So two, 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 two. And if you want to add as you go, you can. We have, let me put this up. I have. Two, four, six, eight, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, eighteen, twenty, twenty-four. That's about right. Twenty, twenty-four. All right. And if you want to add more, you can. You don't want to do it too much because you're going to add your ruffles in. All right. I'm going to put this over to the side. If you still want to add more, I can. But I don't think I will. All right. So it's not a double poof because we're going to be cutting ruffles today and we're doing ribbon. So I have my light blue laser eyelash, right? And you're just going to do just as if we were doing a regular poof. We all know how to do this. We do. That's going to be do. But you're just not, and you can always take it if you want. I'd rather just, honestly, take it right here as if we were using a regular twisty and just twist that end. You can also take a zip tie to just secure it on your end because you're making, you know, this is not, you're attaching your own ties on here. Right? And just like what we would do with our normal, you're going to go one, two, like this. And it, this can be a pain. And honestly, yeah, come on, Carmen. Pull, the, pull them out. And just like we would do any other, but you're just doing your twisties. One, 
two. I wonder whose twisties out because we're going to get on my nerves, right? <laughs> get on my nerves. There we go. I love my zip ties, but definitely, you know. And the white's pretty on here, so kind of wanted to add a little white. And like I said, we have decor today, so I have my glue burning over there, melting. There we go. So over two, then to one. And just kind of like place these up so you don't, because they will get on your nerves. I'm not going to lie, they're going to get on my nerves. <laughs> but it's pretty. We all can do, you can get on my nerves for pretty, right? One, two. <laughs> they can get on my nerves for pretty and cute. So last year we bought a lot of these tinsel ties and this year we are going to Just like if you were using the pre-tied, the pre-tinsel. All right, you're just making your own. That's all you're doing. So you have six, just like a normal Kofi wreath. And I'm gonna do it again. Yeah, one, two. And there's it. Except this is in your center, which is great because you're going to have that poof, center and end, all right, which makes it really pretty. Again, and just pull this over to the very end, just if you were using a zip tie, which is great. One, two, and push this over because you're going to go into the center of your second bar right here. Hope I'm not confusing you. And I'll turn it over so you can see it. Like you just like we just made our own instead of using a pre-tinseled tied <laughs> reframe. You're just making your own. One, two, over. And like I said, I actually love this. It's really beautiful. Let me just move that over. There we go. And keep your tinsels there. I'm not, because we're using them for ribbon, all right? Or ruffles, and then I'll add my ribbon. You'll see. One, two. Beauty bottle. So, crossbar, center, crossbar, center each section, crossbar, center, crossbar, center, crossbar, center to the top, all right? As you can see, and then you just pull, because this is your center, over, you're gonna go one, two, squish it over, just like if we were using a zip tie, and this is your second, yeah, you just wanted to not come apart on me. There we go, crossbar. Over, center bars in. Again, one, two, and where's my center? There it is, R2. There we go. All right, so now we're gonna go on to our third one. Same thing, you're gonna just remember that moved over, so just go one, two. Kind of squish it. This is going to be on the crossbar now. And I'll pop it back when I'm done so you can see, right? Because it's sometimes I make it harder. 
when I explain it, and then it's easier when I just show you. All right. So one, two, over. This is your crossbar. I like the white, and I wanted to add a little bit of white, making it look more like snow going in it. So that's why I did it like this. Unless I always run, I'm waiting on my zip ties to come in. I'm running out of zip ties. And I will, I actually did really good this year. Um, because I was like, wait a minute, when was the last time I bought zip ties off of Amazon? Guess when? June. So we did really good this year. Those thousand zip ties, I have a lip, I think this. Um, yeah. This is what I have left, which is great because it's from June. So we did really good. We did really good on the zip ties. All right. So here we go. We got one, two, over. And we got crossbar. Again. We got one, two, over. And here's your crossbar. And remember that we also have our ruffles. We got one, two. Oh, Carmen, did you put too many on here? I might have. <laughs> I get too excited and then probably can only do three and not four, but we'll see. We shall see. We shall see. Okay. And that, so now we got one, two. There's our, yep, fourth one. Okay. So, yeah. So, we're on our fourth. Remember, this is very small in here. One, two. You got your center bar. One, two. Center bar. You got ruffles to put in as well. Just want to make sure that's tight and it doesn't come in for me. You should have exactly enough. One, two. These are small inside. And honestly, the inside of it is to hold your sign up like we always do. We're just doing it with all twisties today and one two twisty and I think that is it so I'm gonna go ahead and take this end right here we are going to just because it's extra. Normally you just tuck it in or some people will tie it off. I am just going to take it right here, very end, to this last one and give it a little extra. So you have seven inside. All right. You familiar? All right. There we go. This is one roll of your 21 inch. As we can see the placement of our zip ties. You have your crossbar on one. Center bar on two, crossbar on three, center bar on four. All right. This is one roll of your 21 inch eyelash mesh. All right. Now we're going to cut our ruffles and then we're going to cut our ribbon. Let me put this up. Hold that here up. So I have found, and I was so blessed because white is like non-existent in this house as i said that's why i'm using it sparingly but this is walmart white mesh this is where you had the two little skinny rolls 
in a pack that I got leftover. Actually, I think Chris got it for me last year. He does like, he's really great about buying me um, stuff on sale at the Christmas. Chris is one to go out there. Now, he doesn't like crowds, so he'll go like, he'll go like late Christmas night, like at 12.05 or something like that and get it when he thinks nobody's there or everything's on sale or, you know, because that by morning, it's crazy here. Everyone's just like nuts running through the stores, shoving each other. So if he doesn't get it like that night, like stuff that goes on sale on Christmas, because it goes on sale usually around eight, nine o'clock at Walmart, he'll run in there and grab what he can. And, and if he doesn't get to go, he'll go a day later when he knows there's not a lot of traffic. We try to stay away from Walmart around Christmas. But he will go in there and look for like mesh for me. So he's really good about that. All right, so I'm gonna trim these ends off because it's a little bit, a little bit too much here. There we go. Let me put this in my little basket, in my basket. Here we go. So we're gonna cut this at 15. And that's three. I think I have, I have a couple pieces over there that I think are larger. I said there's not a lot on there. I think the two rolls together makes seven yards, I think. There's really not a lot on these little itty bitty rolls, but it's enough to put white into my wreath. Make it nice and pretty. Okay. <laughs> there we go. Very pretty, 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 pretty. And I like the silver in it, so it kind of goes with the whole Christmas vibe. And I love, I got some really beautiful ribbon. Just gonna want, I really wanna put the mesh on to see what ribbons I'm gonna use because I've grabbed a lot. I, for someone who prefers red, I sure do have a lot of blue. <laughs> I have a lot of like turquoise and sapphire and I use blue like, as you all know, through all of summer. We use turquoise in the water and sapphire. It's just, we use, I use blue all year long. So, red's my favorite. Red and white. I love red. Red and gold. Red and silver. I love red, 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 red. <laughs> but I do have a lot of blue. Lots and lots and lots. So, I'm just going to cut these up. And I had like, between the all three of them, it was two rolls. Because I had a half a roll, and a half a roll, and then a whole roll. And it comes, like I said, it's about seven yards between the two. And it's thin. It's thin, it's not thick. Um, but it does the job, so. And it's white. <laughs> and we want white. I have, looking through, like I have, thank goodness, I, my reason of thought is if the white is three-fourths of a roll, I'll keep it. All right, if it's, you know, a half, if it's for like a, something small, just for, for foofies, I'll keep it. But if it's like a one-fourth, I throw it out, jump. So it has to be half a roll. Three fourths of a roll, one fourth. I can't do much with it at all. All right, let's see. I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 
these are extra pieces, but I don't think those are, no, those aren't, those are 10 inches that I cut for something else. Keep that over there. I'm going to go ahead and cut up the rest of it. I'm going to use, if I don't use it, I'll use it on something else. Um, light is rare this year. Honestly, get your bite. Save some of it for that Valentine's Day. Yes. <laughs> Valentine's Day, Easter. Yeah, we use white. So white, definitely try to stock up on your white. Um, they're probably already sold out because I haven't even looked. Um, And we're almost done. Thank you for... Yay! It's a little bit longer, but that's fine. Or longer than shorter. There we go. It's going to hurt. I talk like a little kid sometimes. Because I'm so used to having the baby here. And um, he's so. I'm, Leon's asleep right now. He skipped his dinner and he fell asleep. So and Chris was supposed to get him up to get him to eat. But he's going through this growing spurt. He's chunking out. You know how you're little. The little ones will start to chunk out. He's getting chunky because he's about to sprout. He's going to get really tall. And it's really cute. So cute. I'll have to have him on this week. Let me. All right. This behind you, Carmen. I'm klutzy today. So. Um, so he's sprouting. He's so cute. All right. So here we go. Oh, Carmen. Hey, remember the days that I had to climb over the table? <laughs> okay, one. And you can actually cut these in 30, but I like to kind of just do it because we're just going to be adding this. That's it. I'm just going to go into each one because we are actually going to be putting ribbon as well. All right. So we're going to be adding this in. I'm going to grab this up here. So yeah, he's getting he's getting chunky, and he's getting so cute. Like his little feet are like, you know how little kids their little toes get all chubby, and they're so cute, almost like a little Flintstone feet. They're just so cute. And I'm just watching his little hands get bigger, and I can see it in his feet, and his ankles, and his little legs. He's just chunking out, and he's about to sprout. And he's, he's cute, so great. And he just got over that rhinovirus, so but he's definitely sprouting. He's getting up there. He's gonna be a big boy. All right, so I'm just gonna go. We're gonna try to get an each at least. Where is that? Here we go. Try to get it into one and two, all right? For now, and then if I have enough, I'll go on in further. But I want to put the sign on and ribbon. So we got a, lots of ribbon and a bow. We got a bow too. So this is not nothing real fancy. And oh, I have. Ornaments, hey, ornaments, and all kinds of stuff. All right, so here. Not one, two. Beautiful. It's actually really pretty. Between the white and the blue, and wait till we put our little snowman on there. 
He's so cute. So the baby is not a baby anymore, but Leon is definitely just a little bright light. Makes me so happy. I love him so much. And he's just cute. So I was laughing and like putting my stuff up and he just, just pops up in here. And because I was looking, I forget what I was looking at. It was on my phone or something. And I watch animal videos a lot. And I'm laughing and giggling. He just comes in here and goes, yay, and starts shaking. And he gets, sits on my lap. And he's watching the little animal videos with me. And we're just cracking up laughing together. And sharing that grandma, grandma bonding grandson time. He's just a really cute baby. Not baby. Not a baby. And he's actually forming words. So him going to school has been great as far as his vocabulary and everything ha is wonderful. Okay, so we're going to go on to, we're going one, two, one, two, one, two. Okay, so first and second. So his vocabulary, he's forming same sentences. He's saying, like, I said something to him. He said, no, no, okay, can I have dink? Yes, you can have a drink. Do you want more? Yes, please. Like, he says little sentences, like two and three words now. He's forming sentences. He's actually talking. So it's getting very exciting, and he's get, he's doing really good. Besides the, you know, bugs that go around, which normal kids get sick. It's just scary because you got that virus out there, but he's doing really good. He's doing really good. He's better now, and he's growing, just growing. So antibiotics are really hard on his little tummy. So we had an issue with that. Poor kid. He, he had a big issue with the antibiotics, but other than that, he's doing really, really good now. And um, he loves school. He absolutely loves school. So I'm really happy for him. I'm happy for Michael, you know, his little boy's growing up. He's getting big and happy and laughing and interacting with other children which is wonderful it's a wonderful thing Can you grab I don't like that one it's longer than this there we go um so he's interacting with other kids he's forming sentences he's doing great and he's better we have one teacher that's um out but I think she's got something more than just the rhinovirus that's been going around. Because this is her third week she's been out sick. So, and kids are resilient. They get over things much faster than we do. Um, so, but I think that she had something more because she's still out. And, um, so... You have an autoimmune. There is a super virus that normally affects children. It's a children's super virus. But if you have an autoimmune, yes, you can get very sick from it. So, and I happen to not get it, but I am taking my vitamins. Vitamin C is my best friend. <laughs> it's your best friend. Should be your best friend because vitamin C has got all of us through these seasonal allergies and coughs and congestion and all this other stuff. It's been wonderful. So here we go. I'm not doing, it's not really like a side by side. It's just a regular ruffle, okay? Let me grab this. Make sure I'm going. One, two, one, two, one, and two. And we're in this again. And I have, probably enough, 
I wanted to. I'm not going to push it, but um, we'll count. Well, I have enough so I can put like single ones in there. If I wanted to. So we'll see. Let's see. Two. Yeah, see. I'm looking just to make sure that I have one, two, one, two, one, two. Because this is so full. It's actually full. It's beautiful. Blue, blue, blue. It's very beautiful. There we go. And there we go. There we go. So pretty. See how pretty? Alright. So that's really cute and beautiful. We're going to add our ribbon. I do. I'm going to go ahead and pick up the rest of this. Up because I actually have enough to fill it up a little bit more. So we're going to use all of them going through it. I'm just use the single pieces because we did double out here and we're just going to go in. Just remember we have one, two, three. Just go and just fill it in. So I cut two rolls of seven yards at 15 inches. And just, so for the first two, we did two pieces side by side. It's more like just a ruffle, not a butterfly because these are like really thin, all right? And then I took the leftover and I'm just filling it in, going through this. You no, know, no need to like waste it. This one's one of the longer ones. No need to waste it. I'm going to just put it in. And then we're going to take ribbon and I also have decor. And this is kind of like our old school. If you like blue, we all love blue, so there we go. We did if you have one roll of your ten inch um ten yards. <clears throat> I only use seven yards, cut it at fifteen and just fill it in. I only use one roll of our 21 inch laser eyelash. Let me see. I'm gonna put it, as you can see, go ahead and just, yeah, see if I can even, so I don't wanna do that. I'm gonna leave it there, see if I missed any spots, cause it's fairly, really thick. It's beautiful. I don't want to just sit this down. It's no sense to me to have one piece just throw it out. So I'm just going to stick it in somewhere on here. Um, let me see. You know what? I just put it right kind of like in the center here. All right. Like right there. All right. So here we go. Nice and pretty. We got ribbon and we got our signs my sign, and a bow. All right, so, let's see, so cute, see how cute. I'm gonna put my sign on and then work around this with the ribbon, all right? There's a reason 
for this madness I have it. It's because I want to see what it looks like. Because I have the decor. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to go ahead and twist this into the center here. These are my... Eyes in the center. I'm gonna bridge them together. We did our own tinsels today. I'm gonna bridge them so they don't come loose, and that's gonna kind of make it sturdy in the center. Nothing's gonna fall out. Kind of is it that little bridge for your sign? Right. All right. This. All right. There we go. I'm gonna put this right in the center. So pretty. And then we're gonna cut our ribbons. I have decoration. And like I said, it probably I have one to put a bow on it too, because I have a lot of blue. Alright, let's get these. Alright, my glasses. Very beautiful. So my little guy here, I'm going to put one here on each side because I don't want to kind of cover him up here because I love this. So I'm going to actually do side to side with this one. All right? Just side to side so we're not covering our little guy up. There we go. All right. So we're going to take this. That much. We don't need that much. This will probably go fast. Um, just like I love snowmen, but my favorite. Snowmen are like not just a Christmas thing, it's a winter thing. And if you're like me, my best memories in the world, my best memories as a child is making snow angels. And snowmen outside in the snow. When I was really little, I loved it. It's my favorite memories of, of being a kid. Just like I always tell my dad, um, we were talking about, and all of you know about, because most of you are older than me. All right, so 1977 was a big, huge blizzard. In New York, um, we had snow that went all the way up to our window and it covered our door. And I remember my dad, because um, I'm 72, so I was three, four, five, six, seven, I was five. I was five years old. And my dad literally climbed out of the second story window and slid down the snow and had to dig out the door. And then my uncle Raymond, I think it was my uncle Raymond, um, had went over there and helped plow out everything. It was a, it was a blizzard of 1977. And those of you that are from the North all know about 1977, <laughs> the snow blizzard. That was like record snow. Like it was huge and I remember it. And I was five. You know why I remember it? Because I, my dad let me slide down out the window with him. So, of course I remember it. I remember it. I literally remember it. Like, my father had called me yesterday. And we were literally talking about, because um, he said it was an odd, it was like, it was supposed to be really cold this year in New York, upstate. I guess he was talking about some weather thing, predicting the weather. 
and Niagara, near Niagara Falls, Lockport, Rochester, all that, and um, Canada. Because my dad is like, uh, he lives off of um, Lake Ontario. So, Lake Ontario, and I'm trying to remember the other lake. Anyways, he's next to Canada. And um, anyways, he was telling me when we were talking about the weather, how it's been a little bit odd this year, but it's supposed to be a very like rigid, cold winter in New York this year. So he was talk talking about that in the north, I should say. And then we were talking about 1977 and the blizzard. And he got a kick out of it yesterday because he had called to wish, you know, his son-in-law happy birthday. He loves Christopher. He loves him. He absolutely adores Chris. So, um, you know, he wished Chris happy birthday. And, um, and then I talked to my daddy. And then we were talking about the weather. And he was shocked. I was like, Dad, wasn't it 1977? I think I was like in... Five. I was in kindergarten, and I remember that you had went out the second story window and slid down. And he said, you remember that? I was like, yeah. I said, was there really a blizzard in 1977? He said, record blizzard. Like, it was like record. Like, lots of snow. People were locked in their houses. It was so much snow. But I remember, because... My uncle, like I said, he came over and everybody was helping, digging people out and everything, but it was huge. It was like snow was too, he literally opened up. I don't, and it took him a while because I think he had like took my mom's hair dryer or something, trying to melt the ice, the snow, um, to even open and jig up the, the window on the second story and then he opened it up and he slid like literally slid down it and it was fun for me i was five years old it was like hey you know every kid loves that we love to have fun i slid down the window with my dad like he was at the bottom and then i slid down and it was so much fun and so much fun i remember anyways he got a kick out of it yesterday he was like, you remember all that? I was like, I remember everything. He's like, wow, you were just a baby. You were five. I was like, I remember because school was closed. <laughs> no kid liked school, especially snow days. We didn't like school. We wanted to stay home and play in the snow. That's every kid, right? At least it was me. I was a typical kid. We love to snow, and we love to get wet, and we love to get make snowmen and throw snowballs, and it was fun. And we played ice hockey when I was little. So that's how Northern. I definitely have a little New Yorker in me. Um, so you know, here in the South, they do um, not ice. Okay, so I don't like this color. It's too teal, so that's not going. No, I'm just going through my ribbons to see which ones that I'm using. This is too teal. That's fine. I told you I grabbed a bunch. I'm just going through it to see what I'm using and what I'm not. Like that, that, okay. Okay. So anyways, um... We were just talking about when I was a kid. And I loved, absolutely loved the snow. This is, again, that's okay. This one's okay. That, those are too teal. All right. So let's see which ones I want. I definitely snowman. Well... I don't know if I want to put these snowmen on it because these snowmen are different than that cute little snowman. I actually think this would actually ruin it. So I'm going to put these over here. I'm going to take... That's pretty. Light blue. Um, 
I don't think I have enough of this, maybe for the bow, but not for my thing. This is beautiful. This is white. That's really pretty. Um, this is beautiful. I have plenty of this. That's it. I have tons. I have lots of glues. Okay. I don't know why I cut three rolls open of that. That makes no sense to me. No sense, Tommy. <laughs> I have the glitter glue. Ooh, 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 ooh. This is pretty too. Let's see. <laughs> You're crazy on the glues, Carmen. Yeah. Oh yeah. All right. That's. I mean, that's pretty, but I'm not trying to give it. Well, maybe. I'm gonna put this to the side for right now. Let's focus on. Ooh. 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 How pretty. <laughs> Let's do all of these. Oh no, I gotta choose. Alright, definitely this one. So if we're gonna go with a darker one. Oh, hard to choose. Alright. Let's do it one at a time first and then I'll add to it. See, we're doing this at 14. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Pretty. Ooh, this is beautiful. Look at how beautiful this is. Oh yeah. And it pulls out the silver that's actually in the mesh. So this is gonna be beautiful. There we go. What are you doing, Carmen? Why is it? Oh, I got it. Like, what in the world? Okay. There we go. Time to get new scissors, huh? So, he was so... So, my dad was thrilled. Yesterday, like, he talked to Chris. And then we talked about... My dad's on a farm. So, my brother, Jason. So, I have Jason... Jared, there's Jason, Jared, John, and Michael. Yes, I have a brother, Michael, and I have a son, Michael, and I have an uncle, Michael, and my father-in-law is Michael. Michael's a very popular name in my family, but, okay, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Um, my son was actually named after my uncle, Michael Angelo, and then what is his name? Michael Angelo. Yes, like the Ninja Turtle. <laughs> he hated that. Oh, yeah. So, my uncle is, we call him Angelo, but his name was Michael Angelo. And um, of course, my son is Michael Anthony. And then um, we have my father in law is Michael James. Anyways, and then my brother is Michael Vincent. Yeah. Yep, all my goals. Angelo, Vincent, Anthony, James. Yes. So, anyways. When I named my son originally, it's because I dreamt of having a son named Michael. But... I actually, you know, I love my uncle, Michael Angelo. He was my favorite uncle. And so he got a kick out of it. 
And then my brother, I didn't even know I had a brother named Michael until I was older. Long story on that. Anyways, I didn't know anything about him until I was older because we were all separated from my dad. So, um, anyways, so when I met my brother, I had my son. It just happened. They were all Michaels. One, two, three. My brother, Michael, is the baby, and he, one, two, three, is only one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five. He's only, um, one, two, hold on. Let me concentrate. One, two, three, four. Five. One, two, three, four, six, six. All right, my brother is only a couple years older than my son. Yeah. One, two, three. One, two, three, one, two, three. So my brother is, um, my son is 32, and my brother is, I think he's 36. Literally. My brother and my son are around the same age. So, and then, um, but he, he's Michael Vincent. And then, as we have uh, Uncle Vinny, it's actually Vincent, we call him Uncle Vinny. He's no longer with us, he passed away. I just found that out because I asked my dad you know, what happened to Uncle Vinny, and he's like, he passed away. I didn't know. Yeah, you have family? Um, yeah, let me get this. I don't want to. So, anyways, he, yeah. anyways, he just passed away. It just came up in conversation, and I was like, um, How's Uncle Vinny? And he's like, Uncle Vinny passed away, sweetheart. I was like, when did that happen? He's like, not, not too long ago. I was like, oh. He's like, you were sick. You know, I didn't want, you know, because that way I went down there. I loved him. I loved my Uncle Vinny. Loved him very much. Anyways, I did. I loved him. He taught me how to play darts. So in the north, we had ice hockey, not football. So there's a difference. My husband likes uh, football. I like hockey. I love ice hockey. Yes, I do. And then um, I love hot wings, big hot wing person, pizza. And he, you know, there's big differences. Every couple has it. And he's like, you know, who doesn't like ice hockey with few hot wings? <laughs> I love ice hockey. So, anyways, we used to play street hockey as kids in the street. That was our sport when we were young. And we used to do ice hockey and ice skating and all that other stuff. Where my husband is football, you know. So, there's dip we have differences. It's just... Um, we like the same things, so it just happens we both love the same type of stuff. But there's you know, my favorite sport is hockey. His favorite sport is football. <laughs> I was like, I grew up. I grew up playing pool with my uncles, playing cards with my uncles. Yes, spades and playing like. Literally cards. Like poker. <laughs> dad Carmen. No, I grew up playing, sitting with my, my dad taught me how to play poker with my uncles. And we didn't use money. We used like chips and stuff. It was like fun stuff. Um, they probably used money, but I, I was a kid. Um, anyways, I grew up playing, you know, cards. Um, darts, ice hockey, pool. I was a little kid that can, I can play pool. 
And I can shoot a dart like there's no tomorrow. Oh yeah, I'm good at that. But that was me. <laughs> I liked that stuff when I was younger. I was a press, but I loved my ice hockey. I love my chicken wings. I love my pizza. And I loved my pretzels with mustard. Oh yeah, you get a nice, and they don't even do that anymore. When I was younger, because I asked people, and my dad's like, honey, that's, you know, that's, they don't do that anymore. And I was like, oh, I, when I, first thing I'm going to do when I get to New York is I want to go and get me a nice sourdough homemade pretzel with some mustard. And he's like, sweetheart. <laughs> yeah, they don't do that anymore. Or meat on a stick. You know, there's all kinds of stuff that I did when I was younger. I don't do that anymore. It's the good old days. So, but I can play pool. I love playing pool. I don't drink, but I like to play pool. I love to shoot darts. And I used to be able to play some really... So, north is ice hockey and softball, not basketball. The south is basketball and football. That's the difference. Like, I grew up with... Softball. Yankees. Of course. Softball. You know, the Yankees. And I grew up with ice hockey, ice skating, that type of stuff, street hockey. Um, so there's, and he grew up with basketball and football. That we both, we both I like that. You know, I'll watch football with him. It don't bother me. Um, and I used to love the Buffalo Bills until they lost, they lost the Super Bowl. When was that? That was what? Let's see. Let's see. That was in the 90s. Sometime in the 90s. So I remember going to uh, the Super Bowl and the Buffalo Bills finally made it. And then they lost. And then I never liked them again. Yep. I was like, ah! Yeah. I know football. Yes, I prefer ice hockey, pool, darts, pizza, chicken wings, all the bad stuff. <laughs> I love. And I love, you know, I'm a pasta person. Pasta, pasta, pasta. I'm, my son is a big pasta boy, so he can eat pasta every day of the week. And actually, my husband, our first day, he made me homemade manicotti and garlic cheese bread. I was so impressed, and he makes stuffed shells. He does, He's a really great cook. But I was so impressed because he made the manicotti by hand. I was, that was like, I was like, wow, this guy is awesome. Yeah. Yes, he did. Valentine's Day, my husband cooked me a homemade meal. Sure did. And we talked about, um, if believe in God. So I said, very first thing he asked me, do you believe in God? And I knew I loved him right then and there because that was like, you don't know, have uh, very many men talk about God, much less, you know, have values and stuff like that. So I was very impressed with him and the fact that he could cook. My goodness, I was even more impressed. And that, you know, he was like, he knew what my favorite meal was, and for him to go through all that trouble and to make me manicotti and homemade bread, and I was just, I was very impressed, so. And then all he had to ask me was, do you believe in God? And my heart was, it was gone, it was gone. It was. I was like, oh my goodness, here's a man who believes in God. Very rare. Even back then, and even now, um, there are men of faith, but a lot of them are lost. 
they are, but very impressed. I was very impressed with him. And he still cooks me. He is an awesome cook. But, anyways, lots of Michaels. <laughs> lots and lots of Michaels. We have lots of Michaels in our family. But, isn't that a kick, though? I have an uncle. He's no longer with us. He passed away. His name was Michael Angelo. Right? Very nice. And then, <laughs> so, when I, I was like, you know, I named my son after my uncle, but I was not going to give him a Ninja Turtle <laughs> name because then, you know, I knew about Ninja Turtles then. So I was like, oh no, this kid will definitely be mad at me. So his name is Michael Anthony Joseph. He has three names. Michael Anthony Joseph. So how cool is that? And my grandmother was um, so like, uh, kind of like superstitious. I mean, because she said, don't ever name she got mad at me. She told me, you don't ever name your kid two, three names, you know, two middle names. You'll never have another son. This is what she told me. She said, you'll never have another son because you gave him three names. And I was like, where did this come from? But she also would take a broom after every person that came in and sweep out the dirt. Oh, I was like, what are you doing? She's like, I'm sweeping out the bad. And she would pray through the house and she'd take this broom and like sweep out the bad. Like, sweep it out. Like literally sweep it out and pray. And I just, okay. <laughs> That's like Italian. She did. She swept out the bad. A broom, you sweep out the dirt. So when someone came in the house that was bad, she swept out the bad. Literally swept it out and prayed. Yep. She's always praying. But she did things that I didn't understand when I was little. I didn't understand it. <laughs> but she was so cute. My grandmother was 4'8". So you see how short I am? I'm short. My grandmother was shorter than me. She was only 4'8". She's a little, 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 little lady. Very little. She was teeny. Very short. Little tiny person. She was so cute. And we used to um, pick on her. So, Rainbow Bright. Remember? Rainbow Bright, the cartoon. Alright, so my grandmother used to put this, she used to draw in her, well, I get that from her. I draw, because I don't hardly have any uh, eyebrows. So I'm just folding this. This is just four. And there's 12 pieces all cut at 14 inches. Okay. And I'm almost done. So my grandmother, um, she used to put, draw her eyebrows on. Because I hardly have any. It's an inherited gene. I hardly have any. My sisters do, but I don't. I got that from her. Um. Anyways, she used to draw in her eyebrows, but she would have one like way up in the air and the other one down. And then her eyeshadow was like rainbow bright because she didn't start wearing makeup till she was older. Like her kids were grown and out of the house. That's when she started wearing makeup. She didn't wear any makeup like in her younger years. She didn't need it. She was so pretty without it. But Anyways, when she did start wearing it, she would have this like rainbow eyeshadow on, and so we called her Rainbow Bright. <laughs> she was so cute. She was adorable. Yeah, so, um, my grandmother, my grandfather used to say, uh, Go tell Vieja that I'm hungry. And I go say, Vieja, Vieja was hungry. And she'd say, You call me old woman? And she'd get mad and chase me around the house with the broom. It was so funny. She was so cute. 
she was really cute. But my grandfather used to have me say these things to her. And then I would get in trouble and he would sit there and laugh. Like, it was fun for him to get me in trouble. Like, he laughed. He would laugh. You know, my grandmother would be chasing me around the house with a broom. And I was just a little, little teeny little thing. And my grandfather's sitting over there cracking up laughing because it's this big joke. <laughs> it's adorable. I miss that. I miss being young. I miss my grandparents. But yeah. Go tell. Yay ha. I was like, I didn't know what it meant. I was like, yay ha. She goes, Catalina. Yeah. I know old woman. She's her yelling at me. Like, okay. I know what it meant. <laughs> so cute. She was adorable. It was adorable. I loved her. Okay, so I'm going to take this right here. My first bar. Now remember that this is pretty big, all right? But, but I had a lot of fun with my grandparents. I did. I love them very much. And I just hope that I will be um, fun with my grandson, but he will have all these good memories with me like I have with my grandparents because I love them very much. I was also the only grandkid that wanted to spend the night every weekend with her grandparents. I was 12. 13, 14 years old that still wanted to be with her grandma. And my grandma would kick my grandfather out of the room and I would sleep with my grandma. I did. She kicked my grandpa out. He had to go sleep on the couch. And I slept with grandma. And she had this thing about feet. You know, we, we get it as we get older. I'm just saying. Because I have this thing too. Um, your feet better be washed and clean before you get in bed. She had this big thing, like, I took a bath and put slippers on, and then she had me wash my feet again before I went into bed, and my feet were clean. And she would comb my hair, like, brush my hair a hundred times, like, like old school. But I used to have hair that was all the way down to my bum. I did. I had very long, beautiful hair. And um, things you hear about, you know, from other people, it actually really happened. My grandmother brushed my hair a hundred times. We kneeled at the bottom of the bed on our knees and kneeled down and prayed to God and thanked him and said the Lord's Prayer and loved him. And when we got up in the morning, we get on our knees and kneeling and praying to God and thanking Him for allowing us to wake up to live another day. And my grandmother was the one who taught me a lot of that growing up. You know, she taught me the relationship to have with God. And she was very, very beautiful. She's just a beautiful woman. That I love very much. Okay, so as you can see, I'm doing. Uh, I'm borrowing, all right, and it's one per section. So I'm gonna move it up one per section. So we have one here, so you have six, all right. So borrow one. Remember, this reef is really fat. So Anyways, I have amazing memories of my grandparents, um, beautiful things that we did, and then I have fun stuff that I did with my dad. <laughs> that is, he, come on, who teaches your, who teaches your six-year-old how to box? Yeah, I was boxing and kickboxing at six, five, six years old. Um, because my dad, so there was 
you know, I guess there was like kids going missing and stuff in the 70s. All this stuff was going on. And um, my dad in New York, my dad got paranoid. His little girls were going missing. Things were happening. Um, I forget who the serial killer was back then. But anyways, a bunch of stuff was going on. You had the son of Sam. You had all this craziness going on. Just a lot of crazy stuff going on. And um, my father, he was worried. So he worried about his, you know, he's a girl. He worried about me. So I literally, he was like Rocky in the basement, kickboxing and boxing at five and six years old. Sure was. And nobody would know that today because I'm a Chris. But my father taught me how to fight. And he taught me, you know, protect yourself, danger stranger, all this stuff. Like, he was scared. He was scared because, you know, it was like this big thing going on in the north. Kids were missing, all kinds of stuff. There, there was a bunch of boys that went missing. I have to go look it up because I actually did a thing in college on that. I need to go look it up. Uh, um, there's a whole bunch of stuff going on. Seventies were crazy. Not as crazy as it is today, but back then, you know, people were scared. I'm trying to remember everything that was going on. Anyways, kids were going missing. Things were happening that normally didn't happen. And you know, where we were at, and um, so parents were teaching their kids how to fight, how to protect ourselves, how to run for help, how to do those things. We were taught that because it was like paranoia, which if you look back on it now, it, it's just as bad now as it was then. It just, we hear about it more now. Back then it was, I don't know. We didn't have all this media like we have now either. So, and then, my mom actually has uh, videos of me. That's what I wanted to be when I grew up. I wanted to be. She has videos of me interviewing my sisters and stuff. I wanted to be a news broadcaster. I sure did. And we have these black and white, like, uh, roll, like, video where it rolls and it shows like black and white movies. It's like on a spin wheel thing. And um, it's me interviewing my siblings and stuff and acting like literally saying, and what just happened? And I'm right here with so-and-so. I mean, I would write little scripts and act them out. Um, one of my friends was a, a boy and um, we were actually really good friends, and he wanted to be a uh, weatherman, and I wanted to be a news broadcaster. So we used to always, like, be silly and act these things out. I had fun. We had fun. We were outside. We weren't stuck on games in the house. And if it was snowing, we were playing, you know, darts and pool in the basement. Had fun. We didn't have like cartoons. <laughs> if we had any cartoons, it would be on a Saturday morning and it would be Flintstones and Jetsons and stuff like that. It wasn't like all this stuff that these kids have now. It was nothing like that. But we had it was good, good old days. And, you know. We got fed three meals a day. We were grateful. And we ate. I remember eating homemade french fries with fried eggs on top. Literally. The yolk of the eggs go on top of the homemade french fries. Yum, yum, yum. Uh, rice and milk, rice and eggs. Poor people food. <laughs> 
literally. Um, Sundays, you know, that was our family dinners, and everybody got together, and we laughed, and giggled, and played outside, and grandpa used to, my grandfather loved, like, the um, orange slices, I don't know if you guys, orange slices, so they candies, orange slices, and, um, he always gave me, like, money, and I would go down, and what were they, um, the Red Hots, uh, you know, so it was, like, the little peanuts, um, Chico bars, um, I'm trying to remember all the candies we had, <laughs> Swedish fish, um, you can get a, you know, I hear about, I remember having but my kids think I'm old, and I thought my parents were old, you know. But literally, a couple dollars bought you a big bag of candies. <laughs> so, I do remember. Okay, so I'm going to take this now. Ooh, how pretty. I'm going to take it into the inner bar now. Because we got the bar one. I'm going to take it right here. Because I want it to go around. Ooh, this is going to be so pretty. Let's see. Oh, yeah. Here we go. All right. So, I'm going to take it right here to bar four. It's just going to kind of go underneath that sign. That is so pretty. Love it, love it, love it. I still have decor to put on this pretty baby. That's beautiful. That is really pretty. So, we had Swedish Fish, Red Hots. I am trying to remember all the Chico Sticks. Um, now and Laters. Um, uh, what is those hard uh, candies? Jawbreakers. Um, trying to remember all the... Sour Patch Kids, remember that? My first um, doll was a Cabbage Patch Kid. Do you remember those? Had a Cabbage Patch Kid. And we actually got the Cabbage Patch Kids that we got the head and we made the body. Like we sewed like the feet and the toes and stuff. And we made the belly button. When we got something, we made it. We would get the, instead of getting the whole Cabbage Patch doll already done, we got the head and the body, and we sewed the little toes, and we made the belly button. We actually put the head on it, we stuffed it. I don't know if you guys did that, but we did. My grandmother was very, my mom and grandma, they were just very creative with that stuff. So, um, yep. Yeah. And then my first Barbie doll so my dad was raised um, by foster parents. So um, his dad actually, you know, he never got to meet him. He died so, at a young age. Anyways, um, most of the people that came from Italy and stuff came off the boat and joined the military. Right. So. He, uh, his, my foster grandparents, and they were my grandparents. They were the masters, and they lived in Pennsylvania. Actually, Strawberry Hill, Pennsylvania, I believe, is where we visited them. Um, my dad was born in New Jersey. Yeah, Jersey. My mom was born in New York. My dad was born in New Jersey, Patterson, New Jersey, um, from what it says. And he, he brought his foster, his parents, because those were his parents, were um, in PA. So we used to go over there. Um, I want to say strawberry, strawberry something in Pennsylvania. And I cannot remember. I need to look that up. 
but they were the Masters. Amy and Stanley Masters. Yep. And they had my dad, and then my dad's real brother ended up in the same uh, foster care system, foster parents. And my dad's brother, his name is Francis. I have an Uncle Francis that actually still lives. He lives like on the border of New Jersey and PA. And he calls me. He calls me. I'll see it pop up Francis. Oh, yeah, that's my Uncle Frank. Yes, Francis. And then my uh, granddaughter, her name, her middle name is Carmen Francis. This uh, is, um, so, they're so cute. All right, so, I actually, let's see, let's see, because I have two extras I'm going to put in here somewhere, because this is just 10. <clears throat> And that makes 12. There's two other ones. This is beautiful. I don't know if I do a bow on this. This is so pretty. I don't know. I don't know. I got Christmas presents and stuff to put on here. And I got some um, snowflakes. So let's see. I do want to um, add the next two handles. Yeah. So, I learned how to make uh, homemade bread when I was little. Yeah, we made. Oh, my favorite breakfast in the morning is poached eggs. I love poached eggs with some saltine crackers. That's how old, that's, my grandmother used to make, uh, my, make poached eggs every morning. And then we would crumble up saltine crackers and mix it up in the yolk and eat it. And it was yummy. I love it. I actually love the eggs. They're my favorites. It is. Eggs are good for you. <laughs> if you don't have high cholesterol. I don't have high cholesterol, so they're good for me. Um, okay, so I'm going to take this over here. Go ahead here and here. And that's going to give it all, all 12. So I am going to put it right here. This is beautiful. It's so cute. So, poached eggs in the morning. Do you remember when they did the grapefruit diet? I think everybody did that. My grandmother was on this kick. Um, when she was trying to lose some weight. She did grapefruit, like pink grapefruit every morning. It's like the grapefruit diet. She actually lost some weight with it. And she had grapefruit every morning. Because I was upset with her because she's, it was like the red grapefruit. And then they would put a little bit of sugar in it, which is not good for you, but she did that. And, um, I remember I told her, I said, and I want the eggs. And she said, that it was going to make me be all pretty. And that if she ate it, I had to eat it. <laughs> it wasn't too, you know, some people like it. It burnt my tummy a little bit. I guess I had a sensitive stomach. But she went and did this grapefruit diet and she lost, she did, she lost weight. There was really a grapefruit diet. I would always tell her, you're beautiful the way you are. Why are you trying to do that? So, oh, and the cutest thing about her, this is my mom's mom. The cutest thing about her that I loved the most was that, you know, you're styling when you have your hat, your shoes, and your purse, and they all match. <laughs> like, her earrings, her shoes, her purse. If she was wearing purple, she had purple earrings, purple purse, purple shoes. Everything had a purse and shoes and earrings and everything to go with it. She was a classy lady. She was beautiful. Very beautiful. 
She made me laugh all the time. She made, I laugh so much with her. I miss her. I do. Yep. So she moved to Florida. Everybody moved to Florida. And, um, I used to go see her with the kids when they were little, and uh, she knew she was dying. She left in the middle of the night and went to back to New York, die at home. And uh, I was calling because I was on my way over to see her, and nobody answered, so I called my uncle Angelo, and he said, my grandma left in the middle of the night, and she wanted me to remember her as she was, not as her dying. And that was her wishes. I was very close with her. I'm the only one of the grandkids that went to go see her. Took my kids, went to go see her and visit. I loved her. The only one. When kids get older, they get their own lives. And they kind of like disappear. I wasn't one of those. Okay, so I have these little presents. I thought it was cute. I think this is a cute one. You can get this on Amazon. I got it last year. As the blue presents. Three. So I was the only one to go see her. All the kids have, you know, got their own lives. I go every weekend. I take my babies up there. And, um, she, she did. She left. And I was a mess. It was later on when I went to New York that it was like Pocahontas. Uh, I have a brother who passed away. Um, and it was Russell Jr. My dad named after my father. Um, he passed away. And... My grandmother was buried in the same cemetery. And um, when I went to New York, I went walking in the cemetery, like looking for her. And I felt like I needed, you know, they're not really there, but when you're mourning and you love someone so much, you kind of like connect to um, the grave. It's just a normal thing that we go through. Okay, so I'm going to actually take turquoise now. Um, it's just a, something normal that we all do. And um, my grandmother was just like Pocahontas, like the wind's blue. And I followed it. And it went right to my grandmother's grave. And I just fell like on my hands and knees and cried. I loved her. So pretty. Anyway, she was just an amazing woman. She made you laugh. Who had a big heart. She's an RN. My grandmother came here and learned another language, you know, learned English. English is the hardest language. And um, she was an RN where she was at and then came to America and relearned everything, re-educated herself and became an RN here. And she took care of people her whole life. She had 10 kids, beautiful woman. And she had 10 kids and her mom, and she was, so my mom is a baby of 10 and my grandmother was a baby of 12. How about that? <laughs> and then when I asked her, I said, grandma, why'd you have so many kids? She 
she said. Mia had birth control back then. When you never deny your husband, because when you deny your husband, then they go looking somewhere else. That was her thing. You always, you know, love your husband. Never deny. And I was like, I couldn't believe. And she's such a little lady for all those children. She was a little lady. And she was beautiful. And that is so beautiful. I was going to put some pink in it, but this is gorgeous. So I'm going to take a couple of the snowflakes that I have. Do you remember these? I went through everything I had. And I have, let's see, I only want like blue. This is so, so beautiful. Blue. So, and I love my grandmother. Oh, it was Jenna first time I met her. Her hair was royal blue. <laughs> Aww. It's funny. You know what? My grandmother. Yeah, you know what? That's funny. Are you talking about hair color? My grandmother, um, because she used to get her hair dyed too, and it was always these funky colors. That's funny. They're so cute. I love my grandparents. I miss them. I miss the love. I miss, you know, the family. I miss the loudness of the house and all the kids running around and the, the siblings, my uncles and my aunts, you know, barking at each other and just a loud, busy kitchen and, you know, pushing the food around and the kids all, I just, I miss it. That was like the best ever. The best memories. I just love them. All right, let's see. All right, I'm going to go, I'm going to show you this. Let's get a couple snowflakes on here, and then I'm going to turn this over so you can see how beautiful this is, because when you look at it like this, look how beautiful. You see how pretty? This is absolutely beautiful. So I'm going to put some snowflakes on this. So if you want to put a bow on it, you can, but I honestly think it's going to just, this is one of those that, Absolutely not. I got all these presents and all this stuff going on. And I don't, I honestly don't want to. I think it will ruin it. There we go. I'm going to take a snowflake right here. And then take another one. So I had a lot of family growing up. So my dad's foster parents, well, he just found, you guys all know this, he just found like his brothers and stuff. I have a uncle, Leonardo, <laughs> and my dad's uh, father's name was Savator. Savator, how, how awesome is that? And um, so he found his, and my uncle lives my dad's brother that I met a couple years ago, he only lives an hour and a half from me. He lives in Florida, not far from me at all. And um, so it was really funny because I brought Leon over there and I had called to Leon. I was like, Leon, come here. And my uncle said, I'm right here. I was like, he's like, wait a minute. He's like, his name is Leon. I was like, yes. He's like, that's what they call me. Yeah. So I have an uncle, Leonardo. I have an uncle, Michael Angelo. I have an uncle, Angel, which is baby. We call them baby. Uncle baby. I have uh, my aunt Priscilla. She passed away. 
Aunt Mary, she's still alive. Aunt Alita died, she got COVID and she passed away. Um, when everybody went to go visit her in New York, she's my aunt that died from COVID. Not long ago. Um, I have, I have a cousin Nina, cousin Tammy, I have a cousin Marissa, I have a cousin Dana, I am the only Carmen, <laughs> but my mom's name is Carmen. Oh, I can't say that because I have an uncle Carmelo. So my mom was named, my mom was named after my uncle Carmelo. And then I was named after, well, my dad named me. My mom said he insisted. So you're firstborn, whether it's a girl or a boy in our family, you name them after your, your family, which, yeah. I wasn't going to do that to my kids. <laughs> so, um, I'm going to actually make this like a double. Ooh, pretty, 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 pretty. So we had a, a very big family. Lots of big dinners and I love my family. I miss it. I really, really miss it. So we're hoping when we move near Chris's family, because um, he, you know, his dad is still here and and um, you know his sister needs. She lost her husband in January. She needs her brother, and they're very close. So I'm hoping that we can make memories, you know, for Leon with his grandparents and do the big. You know, it. You don't have to have a big Christmas. It's the family that matters to me. It's you know going to church and paying your respects, loving God. And family. It's family. And I want that for him. I want him to remember what I, you know, I want to give him something of what I had somewhat. My life was not perfect. And I had a rough life when my parents uh, lost my brother. You know, everything went to heck and back. Um, but they were mourning their child. They lost a child, so... Um, it's understandable. But I love, you know, I have good memories. Grandma memories. Yeah, I want my kids to have grandma memories. My grandkids. <laughs> so this year, Mama is baking cookies with my little, my little one. Okay, so this is so cute. I am all done. And we're definitely not putting a bow on this because it's going to ruin that sign. And that sign is just so adorable. Let me grab my, where is it? Carmen, where did you put everything? I have no idea where I put that at. So here we go. Let me. So this is beautiful. See how pretty? All right. We have 12 bundles of ribbon, 12 bundles of ribbon. Yeah, sapphire blue, yep. Yeah, so sapphire blue, so a lady from, um, lady I met at a festival, and it is in the Bible, sapphire blue, it is. Everyone says, <laughs> yeah. So there we go. 